Hello everybody, my name is Alexander Depoter from Porsche West Palm Beach. I'm a Porsche sales professional and thank you so much for watching all my Porsche YouTube videos. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Today's video is a walk around video on the new 2020 Porsche Macan Turbo. Parked right behind me, finished in exterior color white with a black garnet red interior. Let's look at all the details and all the specifications. Okay, time to get up close with the 2020 Porsche Macan Turbo. Now powered by a 2.9 liter twin turbo V6 producing 434 horsepower, replacing the previous generation 3.6 liter V6 that produced 400 horsepower, therefore a power increase on the new Macan Turbo of 34 horsepower. In the front we see the redesigned front fascia for the Macan Turbo, this is the specific Macan Turbo front bumper design with the LED daytime running lights below the LED headlights. You can also see the aggressive styling of the Macan Turbo front bumper and also fitting large quantity of air to the front placed radiators. This one, this one was ordered with the factory adaptive cruise control. You can see there the radar, the adaptive cruise control radar in the center. Looking at the side, we can see the optional 21 inch RS Spider design wheels. The standard wheel size for the Macan Turbo would be 20 inch with right behind it, the Porsche service coated brake system, which is now standard equipment for the Macan Turbo. This is a redesigned, re-engineered braking system, which was first seen on the all-new Porsche Cayenne. The brake calipers of the Porsche Service Coated Brakes are finished in white. Sport design mirror is also on the outside, part of standard equipment for Macan Turbo. And also the side sills here, the um, side blades, finished in exterior color, part of the standard equipment. Normally the window surrounding on the Macan Turbo is silver finish. This one was ordered with high gloss black window surrounding to match the high gloss black factory roof rails as a factory option. Also equipped this one with a premium package plus which includes the Porsche panoramic roof system. On this specific Macan Turbo, the suspension system has also been upgraded to the adaptive air suspension system while the Porsche active suspension management is the standard suspension for Macan Turbo. Let's take a look at the rear where we can see the redesigned tail light design for the new Macan with the connecting light bar between the tail lights, the beautiful Porsche letters in the center of the, uh, of the tail light. This one also has the sport exhaust system which is now part of the standard equipment of the Macan Turbo, in this case finished in high gloss black and we can, can also see a factory trailer hitch. Specific also to the Macan Turbo is the rear sporter design, very aggressive styling specific to the Macan Turbo and especially finished in high gloss black matches really well with the other high gloss black elements on this specific Macan. Time to take a look at the inside. This one has the black garnet red interior. This is a leather interior package for this specific Macan. You can see the leather on top of the door panel here, the brushed aluminum in the center as an inlay, and then the garnet red finish, also in leather on the armrest in the door panels. 18-way sport seats plus for the Macan Turbo. Again, finished in garnet red. We see the black leather being used on the top of the dashboard with the beautiful garnet red stitching. Again, the brushed aluminum continuing over the center part of the dashboard. You can see the Bose speaker system as part of the equipment. PCM navigation system standard on the Porsche Macan, the new Macan, including a multifunctional steering wheel with shifting paddles. And this one was order, also ordered with the Sport Chrono package as a factory option, which of course is a very nice combination with the adaptive air suspension and the Sport exhaust system. Alcantara headliner can also be seen on this specific Macan Turbo. Very well known, the Alcantara for the Highline Porsche models, including the Turbo. Active all-wheel drive is standard for every Porsche Macan, with most of the power being um, applied on the rear axle system. We use a staggered wheel setup for the Porsche Macan, therefore larger, wider rear tires, I should say, versus the front tires to improve the handling and the sporty nature of this compact SUV. Connected to a seven-speed PDK dual-clutch transmission, creating a very fun, compact SUV to drive with a great sound. And this engine actually was inherited from the Porsche Panamera and also seen in the Porsche Cayenne S. Thanks so much for watching all my YouTube videos. I hope you guys had a good impression of the new Macan Turbo. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Again, my name is Alexander at Porsche West Palm Beach. I'm a Porsche sales professional. Thank you once again for watching all my videos and I wish you a great day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.